While you were sleeping, Brandon Ayuk to New England got very, very real. I'm going to unpack all the details about bringing this possible top wide receiver in the NFL to New England on today's show. I'm your host, Allie Barefoot, and the grand scheme of things is that the Patriots and the Cleveland Browns have an offer on the table that the 49ers have agreed to, but now they're letting Brandon Ayuk choose his final destination, which could be New England, Cleveland, or stick in San Francisco. Well, if you guys want Brandon Ayuk to be a New England Patriot, it's super simple. All you guys got to do is like the video. And if they do trade for Brandon Ayuk, say less. We will be live on Patriots Today by Chat Sports, unpacking everything about the trade, having some drinks, and celebrating a top wide receiver coming to New England. So hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get into all the details of what is going on surrounding Brandon Ayuk, first and foremost, in San Francisco. He is more likely to be traded from San Fran than to be extended with the 49ers. So this was what started it all. It looked like Brandon Ayuk was finally done with the 49ers. But that's fine. We just need the 49ers to agree that they like what New England has to offer, which is the next Step Late last night, around 10.30 p.m., the 49ers on NBCS tweeted out, the 49ers have the framework of a Brandon Ayuk trade with both the Cleveland Browns and the Patriots, a source told. Now it's up to Ayuk to decide if he will accept either team's contract term. So they have offered their very best on the table. Now they're just waiting for Ayuk to decide where he wants to go and for how much money. Well, this was pretty tricky because it looked like Ayuk wanted to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers and play for Mike Tomlin for the longest time. Or he could possibly go to the Washington Commanders in a very new franchise with Jaden Daniels. But now it looks like Pittsburgh and Washington are out of the race. There is no absolute determination that they could not pop back up but it looks like at this time the Patriots and the Browns are the top contenders to get Brandon Ayuk and this is very real so to break down what it would cost to get Ayuk to come to New England well Matt broke this down saying that the Patriots are expected to include former 49ers wide receiver Kendrick Bourne as a part of the deal if I were Ayuk were to accept New England's Offer. Bourne obviously has an opportunity to be a top wide receiver for New England, but if you ship him out to to San Francisco and you get another top receiver in Brandon Ayuk, I'll take that trade. But Dakota Randall did tweet out earlier this morning on day 11 of Patriots training camp that Gerard Mayo said he had a good conversation with Kendrick Bourne this morning after he was featured in the overnight Brandon Ayuk rumor. So I really love Gerard Mayo's initiative here to make sure that Kendrick Bourne is okay with what happens. Not to mention, if Brandon Ayuk doesn't come to New England since he has several options, it's good that Gerard Mayo is making sure that Kendrick Bourne, I hope, knows that they want him in New England. England, but this is just business because the Patriots have been trying to get Ayuk for a very long time. This goes all the way back to draft night when they actually made a deal to send the second round pick, which would have been Jalen Polk to San Francisco, but they declined it because back then they weren't trying to trade Brandon Ayuk. This all started once Justin Jefferson became the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Now Brandon Ayuk is saying, I want that money. I want to make what Justin Jefferson makes. The 49ers, they don't want to give it to him. But Matt Groh has had this on his radar for a very long time. He said in 2022, wherever teams can add an instant impact player, a.k.a. somebody like Brandon Ayuk, which is what these wide receivers are in the game today, they're going to do that. You can't just sit around and wait and hope to get some of these guys in the draft. You've got to be proactive about going to get one of them right now. I think that one is Brandon Ayuk. But I've also said in the past, if they don't get Ayuk, I'm not going to be heartbroken. I'm okay with the roster that we have right now because we're just trying to be a seven-win team. You're not trying to win the Super Bowl this year. It's a rebuild year. But if they put their best foot forward and are trying very proactively to go out and get Brandon Ayuk while he's, av while he's available, absolutely. No doubt Brandon Ayuk to New England would be elite. But I do feel like if Ayuk wanted to go to Cleveland or New England, he already would have accepted the offer. He knows what's on the table. 
He's known for a long time. The trade has not changed per reports about trying to get Ayuk. That's what's making me feel like Ayuk doesn't want to come to New England. And that's the last thing I want. A player that comes to New England that doesn't want to be there. Not to mention, I am all for it if they do not give up their number one draft pick in 2025. If they can get out unfazed with a first round draft pick, I am all for it. That's because the 49ers previously had asked for a first round pick for Brandon Ayuk. I'm not sure if Elliott Wolf is going to give that up. It looks like right now it's just going to be Kendrick Bourne and some draft picks. But if they can keep their number one, I'm all for it. But is this going to be enough to get Brandon Ayuk? I was very surprised it would be a receiver for a receiver trade, not a Matthew Judon trade. I was very surprised by that, but the 49ers have a very top defense, so maybe they don't have room for somebody like Matthew Judon. Is Kendrick Bourne and future draft picks enough for Brandon Ayuk, or should they extend or possibly reach out to the 49ers once more with a tweak to their offer to make sure Ayuk can't say no? Let me know in the comments section. Take a quick break here. Give a huge shout out to our sponsor on Game Time. This is the number one way that I go get tickets for any sporting event out there or any concert. I'm actually going to Zach Bryan, not this weekend, but the next AT&T Stadium. I've had these tickets since last October, and I used Game Time. I actually got this for my boyfriend's birthday, so I actually got a steal and a deal on Zach Bryan tickets while making him a very happy man. Last minute tickets and flash deals is what I love about it. Views from the seats is what makes game time that much better than anything out there. And if you tag on lowest price guaranteed, how can you not use game time? The Boston Red Sox are in your backyard. They've got some pretty tough contenders coming to Fenway, the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Go get your tickets right now. You can see all the future lineups right there when you type in Boston Red Sox. And just to go a step further, here's what it'll look like. You're going to have several seats to choose from, but they're also going to be color-coded in different pricing. That's what I love about game time. They make it super easy. And as you can see, the minute I pick my seat, I can see where I'm going to be sitting. You want to go behind home plate? Look at the view you're going to have in Fenway. It is unreal. And plus, when you go to buy a ticket, it's not just one. They automatically pair it with a two, make it easier for yourself. But if you want to take out your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance for a concert, I highly suggest so. They have plenty of of concerts upcoming in Boston, including Imagine Dragons. You got Green Day as well. Go on ahead, and all you guys have to do to use Game Time, download the app, create an account, and use promo code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. You're going to get $20 off on your first ticket purchase while terms do apply. Tag that on to lowest price guaranteed, and it looks like you guys are going to have a really good night using Game Time. Let's go back to what IUK would mean on the New England Patriots offense. We know they have a top 10 defense, but how would Brandon Ayuk elevate this offense immediately? Well, you got to look at what they already have. You got to take out Kendrick Bourne, which would be included in a trade for Brandon Ayuk. But the minute I saw these top four receivers, I said, holy shit. I didn't realize how much talent we already have in these three players with Jalen Polk, Javon Baker, and Pop Douglas. Now you tag on Ayuk, who will be the clear wide receiver one. You now have several options for Drake May, Jacoby Brissett, Joe Milton, or your grandma, whoever's in the pocket, is going to have top receivers to hit. You've got Ayuk and Polk, who will be your main guys to get your first downs, but you got your big play guys as well with Javon Baker and Pop Douglas when you need to get a touchdown. And that's just wide receivers. Look at the other offensive weapons that the Patriots still have, not to mention Brandon Ayuk in the receiver room. You still have Ramondre Stevenson in the backfield. You've got Hunter Henry, who was the third highest receiver for the Patriots last season. And you've got Tyquan Thornton, who's also trying to be a top receiver for the New England Patriots. Still working in training camp, but I like Thornton as well. Maybe even on the special teams. Patriots have the money. That's why Brandon Ayuk is attracted to New England. That's why they're even in this conversation. They've been building up for a rebuild, and they have a ton of cap space. How much? They have $43 million. They can pay Brandon Ayuk, even in the future. They've got $78 million. This is going to be 
huge when Brandon Ayuk is looking at where to go and who can pay me because remember, he wants to be Justin Jefferson. He wants to make that much money. Ayuk is looking to make $25 plus million per year. You just saw what the Patriots can do. So if they've got that money in the bag, then why not attract somebody like Ayuk? I think this is what brings him to New England. He may realize, no, I'm not going to be in the playoffs again, but I will have a rebuild. I will be able to be a top receiver, and I'll be able to get my paycheck. So now it's up to Ayuk. Do you want to be in a Super Bowl again, or do you want to make money? Because the Browns are also on the table, and they've got a lot of other receivers as well, but Amari Cooper is in the report to be in the trade for Brandon Ayuk. They've got $27 million for 2024. It's still a lot of money. It's not $43 million. But in 2025, there's $60-plus plus million over the cap. How are they going to afford Brandon Ayuk down the line? The Patriots are the only team that are going to give him what he wants. It sounds like the 49ers don't want to pay him or else they already would. The Browns want to, but they don't have the money the Patriots have. It's looking like a clear path to New England. But my last question for you guys, is Brandon Ayuk worth it? I know a lot of you are really set on just having a rebuild year, not bringing in any superstars, and seeing what you have, and then win seven games, and then we can go get a top receiver. But Brandon Ayuk might not be available next year. Brandon Ayuk is a now or never type of situation. Is it worth going through this hassle to get Ayuk? Let me know. Type Y for yes, type in for no. And if he does get traded, we will go live here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. All you guys have to do is go on ahead and hit that sub button and make sure your noties are turned on.